good and done something bad. Right. I think that more people would have come yeah, back. Sure. But but Mussolini really ruins a lot of this uh, network, really strains it to the limit, because he had the idea to make all the Italians abroad fascists abroad. It's like <laughs> little seed beds of fascism in the uh, United States and South America. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, and so he tries to politicize this whole movement and, and really ends up discrediting it. But um, uh, in some ways it shows uh, how lasting it, it was in the end and, and how even Mussolini could ruin it. Uh, the Italians uh, were very proud of the Italians abroad and began tracking them uh, in these maps and international censuses uh, run by the foreign ministry of all the Italians abroad. And so this kind of shows each part of the country by its Italianness. The uh, Italians, 1881. 1881. Right. The and Italy held uh, expositions of Italians abroad, exhibitions of, like a world ex expo, but for Italians abroad. Uh, so, so the Italian communities would try to outdo each other in putting together a bigger presentation. And the Argentines put together this beautiful album of all their accomplishments in Argentina. And and here you can see the, the child in Italy uh, standing on the, co on the Argentine shore, but burning a candle for Italy abroad. And then the star of Italy shines over the whole world. Mm -hmm. So the star of Italy shines on Italy, but also on the Italians in Argentina as well. So, so under the star and olive branch, you can see the arms of the Italian king and the arms of Argentina and the symbol. So, um, so uh, this was this exposition really inspired Italian economists, especially Luigi Ainaudi, who became the first president of Italy, to really dream of Italy having a worldwide influence and a worldwide reputation. So he wrote this whole book about how made in Italy as a brand could surpass made in Germany. That Italy could gain prestige and, and popularity and economic clout to, uh, based on this cultural uh, strength. So here's another, this was actually a textbook for high schools showing the Italian flag encircling the whole globe. And then again with the star of Italy shining above. And this was the fascists here are not from fascism, but, but just an ancient symbol of fascism. And in this textbook, they also have a map of Italians abroad, uh, the different shades representing how Italian each country was abroad. Uh, Mussolini uh, was himself a former emperor. And in his first years in office, he really encourages uh, Italian immigration and trying to make it more rational and organized so, uh, uh, so Italians would have jobs when they went abroad and wouldn't have to try to uh, fight and find a job uh, from scratch. So, so this is a map that shows the regional immigration you see in Italy, green, white and red, north, center, and south. And then the amount and the regional character of each emigration uh, during the whole period 1894 to 1923. So you can see the emigration to the United States, how heavily it was from southern Italy. And then uh, more balanced to Argentina and also more balanced to Brazil. And then you can see also smaller emigration to Australia. The Italian emigration to Australia really picked up after World War II. So even with, uh, even with Mussolini trying to fascisticize Italians abroad, 
there's still this 